All right, folks, so we got a piece of two by two today, two inch by two inch by four and a quarter inch tall piece of basswood. I've got a, a front and a back already marked, and I've got a couple of marks on the bottom. The five eight, this is a five eighths line from the bottom up, five eighths line. So let's go ahead and mark. that 5 eighths line all the way across the bottom on all four sides and what we're going to do is for the this little ghost is going to have uh, his sheet draping over the block. So we're going to we're going to put a his sheet down here, draping over on the on the front corner, and we're going to go around, and we're going to do the same thing on the back. He's going to He's going to have a, it's going to drape over on, on the back side, the back corner. Okay. So we'll come back to the front here. <clears throat> and we're going to cut out what's underneath the sheet to create that illusion of, uh, of that, that sheet hanging over. So these corners that don't have the lines drawn in, which is this corner and this corner, we're gonna go ahead and put a stop cut in so let's put a stop cut in on that corner. And let's turn it around and put a stop cut in on this corner. And see these are the corners that do not have the drape coming down. Here's the drape on this side and here's the drape on this side. So let's go ahead and get those corners a little bit deeper. And that's going to be a true square corner there. And this is going to be a true square corner on the opposite sides. All right, so now, here's back at the front. We can come all the way over to the line. We're going to go all the way over to the line that I've drawn in right here that drapes. This is sheet that's draping. And we're going to cut in over to that line just a little bit. Everywhere where the line starts. So we can draw a little straight up and down line so we don't we know not to go past there. So we can come all the way over to here. On this side, we can come all the way over to here. On this side, we can come to here. We've already done this one. So we'll put stop cuts in all the way over to where the sheet is going to drape. 
And I'm doing this first because I want this bottom to look good. I want it to stand out on the carving. So we're going to go on and establish those those spots. So we start right at that line and come over towards the corner. Just to go on and get that started. So we've got over to this line, we've got over to this line, got over to that line, and we've got one more to do here. Stop cutting in. Angle your knife so you can go towards that corner. Just take out to that line. Okay. All right, now let's go on all the top corners and take a little bit off just so we can size, size this big block down a little bit. We won't need these corners anywhere. Now on these corners that where the drape comes down, let's draw that in a little a little deeper so you can see it. We're just going to come down to the line. Actually, we can go on and take it. All right, so we've put a stop cut in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shave off each one of those sides where it meets the line there. We're going to try to get this corner back to square. So we've turned it and now we're coming around the other side. We're just going to cut up to that stop cut. Okay, see so how it's you now we're back in the square on that corner. A little bit more there. Squared in just a little more. And we're gonna go a little bit deeper here. So we can pronounce that a little bit more. Same thing here. We'll take all this off. 
shave it down. Let's see what we can do with this big knife. We'll cut over to the stop cut. Make another corner here. So if we just cut over to that corner, then we're going to reestablish a, a square corner there. I know this is a lot to go through for just a, to drape a, a sheet over a block, but I think we're going to like it when we get done. So we'll put forth a little extra effort here to... But the main reason I used a, a big 2x2 two two block was uh, the depth of the, the pumpkin that he's going to hold, the jack-o'-lantern that he's going to hold. So we wanted to give him plenty of, uh, plenty of depth here so I can carve in that. that round pumpkin that he's holding. Okay, let's take off some more. And... So, you see how we've kind of squared this corner back off. Kind of see it on this side. But we need to take more off of these true corners. This is a hard part, guys. So, stick with me here. We'll get there. So, we're just deepening in these true corners again. All the way over to where the sheet drapes over the block. Okay, back to the face. So now it looks like we've got a, a sheet draping over. Here's the face. We've got a sheet kind of draping over this, this corner. And on the back side, we've got the same thing. It's like the sheet draping over that corner. All right, so let's go up probably about an inch. Uh, let's not go any farther closer, any closer to the bottom than about an inch. Let's start about an inch there and take off more of the these corners. My bat frog. We made a little bat and we cut his we cut his ears off and we turned him into a frog. 
frog bat, bat frog. So we're just kind of swooping up here. And what we're trying to create here is just the the sheet that's going to drape over. Let's cut these corners off. We're going to lose all of this on top where his head comes to a to a point. And that's where we're going to go from here. <clears throat> it started about an inch and a half from the top from the top down. Let's go on and mark that. Let's mark an inch and a half. And let's make a line. All the way around the top. Just a little, a little soft line, so we know about where to to start rounding this top off. So we're going to, just going to start taking big chunks off at the top. You see, I've got the the Halloween projects out in front of me here, down on the mat. So, if you'd like to see some of my Halloween projects for this year, also got some for last year out there. Go to my channel page, and I'll probably put the the links to these guys that are. They're this year's projects in the description. Okay, long way to go.
Okay, folks, so I've drawn in a little pumpkin on this side, and this is, here's the front here, and this is the left side of the face. And I've drawn the pumpkin in on that corner, because the pumpkin will be a little more pronounced, sticks out at you a little bit more. So we'll go on and cut him in here. Now you can see where I've got the top of his arm is across the bottom side of his pump of the pumpkin there so we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll just outline the top I don't know three quarters of the pumpkin and then the bottom part will be hidden by his arm so it'll kind of be nestled in seated in where his arm is here and we'll just round off the bottom of his arm to, to give it a look of uh, like there's a sheet hanging over top of that so this is the corner the pumpkins on if you need to you can stop it and, and draw it in but on the other three sides from the pumpkin we're going to start just above where the where the block or the stand would be and we're going to start taking wood from just above there up to give it more of a draped look and to get rid of our flat spots some of our flat spots that we've got on the So we'll just kind of swoop those up. You're going to take out quite a bit too. You can take big chunks out of there if you, if you want to. And that's on all three sides. All three sides leaving the pumpkin side alone with all three corners leaving the pumpkin corner alone we've got an arm the top part of the arms it uh, covers over the pumpkin and the bottom is down here so we're going to go from the arm up with the outline of the pumpkin And we'll leave a little stem there. Right in the middle. Kind of 
bent bent there to the left a little bit always go on the outside of your line so you can make it a little bigger and then cut it back if you need to Take the tip of your knife and run it in behind the pumpkin. So I'm just going back over as I go here, putting my stop cuts back in so we can get it cut out and give that pumpkin some depth. Alrighty, <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll round off these front edges on the pumpkin. And give it a rounder, more round look. Also gonna bring that stem down in towards the middle of the pumpkin and then cut a little bit out just to give it a look that the stem is not sitting right up there on top, but it's down towards the middle, just a hair. Cut those edges off, see what it looks like. Remember, we were right here on the corner, so we can flatten that out too, give it some roundness. Okay, so let's let's go underneath the bottom part of this arm and let's take off, let's just start scooping some of that down towards the bottom. We don't want it to be in a, a distinct line because it's just a, a sheet over a ghost. We want to just kind of follow that line and, and take out below Just kind of give it a shadow underneath there. Okay, so you got it's kind of giving it a, a little shadow there. I'm 
We might even put a little V cut in here, just this little subtle one. Just to make it look like that arm's there. Okay. Need a little bit over on this side too. Okay, now we'll go on top of that arm where it touches the pumpkin. We'll give it just a little bit of a little bit of a V cut, a little at a time. We don't want to get too much. Just want to give it a just a little look of. Might be an arm there. It's all kind of blends together. That's what I was trying. That's what I'm trying to keep. Just everything kind of blending and rolling together. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but the rain set in for the day. Sounds like. We're just smoothing, going around, seeing where we need to take off. Just a little over here where the hand would be. around those edges on the bottom of the pumpkin and make it look like it's sitting down more inside his uh, inside his arm there Okay.